demands on data are increasing at an exponential rate and the compounding factors are things like the proliferation of mobile commerce and mobile devices, mobile engagements let's say, where all of a sudden instead of you know one to maybe a hundred clients all trying to simultaneously use a website on their, con on their personal computers, maybe now you're talking to 10,000 people who are trying to all check it online in real time on their phones or other devices. So certainly just, just by sheer scale, you're creating new demands on the data infrastructure on both the server side and the storage side. So that's definitely driving a lot of the shift toward giving you greater operational flexibility and giving you greater operational performance for those kinds of workloads. I think then also clients are looking toward richer engagements with their customers. So whether that's the proliferation of video, whether that's more contextual, let's say messaging or advertising, all of that means that you need to get greater insight in real time. And ultimately that means you have to have faster access to storage. You have to have more flexible access to storage to be able to match those peak activity periods for those customer engagements. And all of that drives demand for hybrid cloud architectures. It drives demand for the flexibility of a software defined environment and it drives demand for industry leading storage technologies like Flash. Well, I think the story has been building over time. So I think that there's a certain category of workloads that were appropriate for Flash all along. And the economic cost curves, particularly when you look at it on a TCO basis, are just getting better and better over time. So we're expanding the deployment cases for Flash for multiple workloads now. The other side is that our products are also increasingly becoming enabled and optimized for the capabilities of Flash. So if you're just treating Flash like a disk or if you're just using it as a cache, that has some value, but it's not really harnessing the full potential. So as our products continue to transform, turns out that we're leading more and more of this transformation overall with our clients around Flash. So in the modern enterprise, you're going to have a hybrid cloud strategy. You're going to have a hybrid on-prem strategy as well. So what we see is that clients want to preserve their investments in existing disk infrastructures in most cases, unless you're up for a complete refresh. And the V9000 is our open systems tier one solution of choice. So the DS8000 series is the solution of choice for mainframe and high-end power environments. It's an area where we believe we have a lot of value add, particularly for those platforms. Our Z Synergy is always a priority and we love taking care of our mainframe clients with you know, three-side, four-side, massive replication capabilities and the resiliency features that those kinds of big iron environments typically desire. Technology has certainly advanced to the point where the right lifespan of Flash is no longer a consideration for the vast majority of enterprise workloads. And it's been driven by key advancements in our hardware and it's also been driven by key advancements in our business model. So we actually have guarantee programs that allow you to say, well, if I choose to invest in this Flash, no matter the workload, IBM's going to replace it if it wears out throughout my warranty or maintenance period. The bar is so high now that we can make that blank statement across a wide variety of workloads. So for the V-Series, just to be specific, we have that for all workloads, period. No questions. It's just part of the standard warranty standard service. For other machines, as we continue down this journey of flash transformation, we don't have it for all workloads, but the expectation is that functionally, right lifespan should not be a serious concern when you're investing in IBM Flash solutions.
Absolutely. So the right endurance technology across our flash deployments in particular has been enhanced greatly over the past, even just if I look at the past three years. And what we've seen is really a fundamental shift from being limited by the characteristics of the chips themselves to leveraging more intelligence in the controllers to better utilize the fundamental properties of the chips. So what that boils down to for the vast majority of workloads is that right endurance is simply no longer a consistent consideration and even for the extremely intense workloads like you had described million IOPS type class of class of service I was actually just meeting with a client last night who's doing that today on a flash storage system and we're quite happy with the resiliency model there